Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. Uh, this is just to take a peeky peek, see what's coming and going out, going on with the beautiful Scorpio Collective in this seven universal year. 2023 is just days away. Uh, so I wanted to leave you all with a message just to see what's coming in, what kind of energy you all have to look forward to, whether it's your energy uh, going through some shifts uh, or if it's the people around you within your cipher. Uh, just want to see what's going on. Uh, to any of you who may be new, welcome to the Soul Tribe. My name is Q, as I said. I, too, am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear me use music um, in the background, and the way that it works is the name of the song, the artist, maybe even lyrics within the song, the timestamp. Uh, it will all correlate uh, to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be coming out uh, with the tarot cards and it all blends very beautifully if I do say so myself um, to any of you who may feel that my energy the way that I read the reading if it resonates correlates with your story don't be shy hit that like button definitely subscribe to the soul tribe soul family and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload uh, if you are returning beloved you already know what it is love is love is love I send you infinite love and light I will that you all enjoyed your holy days I will that you have a beautiful um, entrance into the seven universal year of 2023 my left ear is ringing right now uh, so be mindful of the people in your uh, cipher as I said there could be some folks that could be having conversations about you someone in your energy field um, is definitely holding conversations uh, with you as the main topic um, you may also receive some news from someone that you may not have heard from in a while so um, that's what I'm picking up intuitively so for anyone that may be new the way that I do things on my side of the planet is I channel the messages, as I said, intuitively. So what comes out, they are general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. I am being called to acknowledge the siren that's going off. So I do feel like there's some news coming in. Um, something that is going to be unexpected. There could be a cause for an alarm. Um, maybe a fire. I'm, I'm hearing a fire alarm. Some of you all may have a fire alarm that's chirping. Maybe you all will um, have a fire scare. So make sure that you're checking your outlets. Make sure you're not leaving like heating, um, you know, those little, uh, 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 what do you call those those little space heaters uh, don't leave them plugged up all day day in day out definitely don't leave any candles lit unattended because I'm getting a sense of like there could be a potential fire um, so just be mindful of that because this is definitely the time when a lot of those unexpected events take place because you have trees going on you know with the lights going all night and that on top of you know a, a drying um, tree you know the branches it could it could set a fire so um even candles a lot of people light a lot of candles during this time you know the apple aroma the peppermints and the pine and it's just like pay attention to your surroundings do not leave anything undetended um because you don't want to be you know entering into the new year uh having to stay at a freaking blue cross what do you call that red cross or whatever because you're you're misplaced so just just be mindful, be, uh, be cautious. I'm hearing caution. Um, I'm also picking up like there could be some news um, or there could be a potential argument or someone trying to um, trying to project, you know, just kind of trying to project because you're kind of coming into this new year with a whole new mindset. You focused on something completely different. And maybe this is someone just kind of tugging at your energy, trying to pull you back trying to get you to to focus on them so that you're not so far you know focused on yourself so be mindful of that as well because remember mercury retrograde is a time when people from your past return um, communication can be jarred um, there could be delays 
it's not only just in the communication, but if you're waiting for some sort of news, um, there could there could be delays uh, in that regard. Uh, Mercury retrograde went effect yesterday, and I believe January 18th uh, is when it goes direct. So uh, just utilize this time. Uh, I'm feeling a strong sense of uh, the need to utilize this time to study, you know, to to master your craft, to soul search, um, to focus on the self. This is about personal growth. Uh, this is about your ascension. This is about you also like, um, you know, amplifying your 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 gifts. Some of you all need to hone those psychic gifts that you know you have or hone those channeling gifts or that scrying gift. Um, you need to utilize it more. You need to practice more uh, because I do feel like it's that time for you to really be out there um, helping to heal the collective um, is, is it's really rapidly approaching and I feel like there's been a lot of spiritual strength that you all have been obtaining these past few years uh, especially if you've been um, going you know at this this alone like if you've been by yourself on the spiritual journey you are absolutely who I am speaking to uh, because you've persevered through a lot of, of traumatic experiences, whether they were familial, whether they were friends, whether they were careers, whether this was even love connections. Um, a lot of those cycles ended. A lot of those uh, relationships met their demise. And you were able to see things that you perhaps never saw before in these individuals. But these are the same things that allowed you to free yourselves uh, from what wasn't serving you. Uh, I feel you were a servant to a lot of those connections, um, nurturing, loving, um, you know, being very attentive, um, very caring, very loyal uh, to these individuals. But I don't feel there was a lot of reciprocity. One of the toughest lessons Scorpios have to learn is the people closest to them will deceive them and betray them because those are the only ones that could get close enough to do so. So I feel like you were backstabbed. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. I'm seeing the Three of Swords in my mind's eye. And that in the Ten, the Ten and the Three makes Thirteen. So that's ultimately what led to your transformation, to that death. You know, that death was ultimately a rebirth. It was you reincarnating as your true, authentic, powerful selves. And this new cycle is your ascension. This new cycle is going to be just beautiful. I feel there's blessings. I feel there's happiness. I feel there's people coming into your life that are on your vibration, that speak your love language, people that are also uh, like-minded individuals, people who are also on your wavelength, just in terms of, you know, your thought process, being able to um, go to the depths with you in conversation, uh, stimulating you as well as you stimulating them. Um, these can be both love ships and uh, friendships, you know, um, but I do feel like there's very beautiful changes that are going to be taking place in this new seven universal year. Some of you all may have a seven life path. Some of you could have been born on October uh, 25th. Uh, I'm also seeing 11 seven. I'm seeing um that some of you all were born on 11 16. Um, I'm just getting a sense of like there being a connection to the number seven in addition to this being a seven universal year. And seven is really about you being assertive, standing perpendicular in your freaking square Scorpios, standing erect and not backing down, speaking your truth, prioritizing you, what you desire, what you require. Um, but your voice is going to be heard. I'm getting a strong sense of you opening up that throat chakra and expressing yourselves um, authentically, you know, authentically, passionately. Some of you all are um, speakers. You could be perhaps like um, you may uh, perform um, um, spoken word. I'm getting a sense of uh, maybe some of you all are uh, working on audio books um, and you're doing the audio. I see someone in their home studio um, doing voiceovers. Maybe some of you have an interest in that. Um, but I'm just seeing where you are 
mastering your crafts and stepping in to your power this year. Uh, you're being more assertive. You're you're positioning yourselves to to um, start in acting. You know whatever it was you've been planning and preparing all this time, or whatever it is you've been mastering or honing, whatever skills um, you are going to be in acting upon those things this year. It's a very active year for you all. I see a lot of a lot of um, success and abundance. You know, definitely wish fulfillment. So your prayers have been heard. Um, I also feel like you've learned uh, to protect your peace, to protect your boundaries. Uh, you've created like a safe haven, a safe space for yourselves. So many of you could have moved away. You could be at a distance from even your loved ones, your relatives. Um, they may all be, you know, kind of... Um, you know, central to one location and you could be that one person or, you know, someone that's just at a distance from everyone, everything, uh, because this is how you protect yourselves. But I do feel like there's going to be more of, um, I feel you're going to be more, more social, you know, more socially inclined, uh, cause you're going to start aligning with your soul tribe, with other like minds, as I said. So that was a lot um, that I'm picking up intuitively. So before I go any further, uh, I do want to do some house cleaning before we proceed with the read. So I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for my beautiful Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. I will be performing your sound bath. This was one of my um, Presence Day gifts from my daughter. Um, it's actually like a little drum and it has like these little beads. And when I shake it, it sounds very similar to the ocean uh, hitting the shore. So. It's a very, very uh, interesting instrument that I was like, I want that. <laughs> so um, we will be utilizing this today. And as I said, we shall proceed with the read afterwards. Um, so let's go ahead and delve in. And I'm just going to take this. If you so desire, you can do a nice little, you know, inhale three times and exhale out of your mouth. So inhale through your na nasal passage, exhale through your mouths three times if you so desire. And you know what? Let's do that just to get the energy, you know, grounded, just to get your energy grounded and bring you into spiritual alignment. Ashe. So let's take a deep inhale. And then exhale. Again, inhale through your nasal. And then exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Whew. I felt that. Oh, wow. It's crazy. I see a number seven inside of here. <laughs> I wish I could show you, but I clearly see that the beads have made the number seven. So, oh, man, I wish I could show you. Yeah, just as I thought. So I'm just going to proceed with utilizing this instrument, I'll show you.
Ashe. That sounds so much like the ocean to me. This is like my little getaway. <laughs> I literally will sit there with my eyes closed and just, you know, gently, you know, rotate this um, instrument. And I swear to you, it feels like I'm literally at the beach, you know, <laughs> sitting in the sand and enjoying, you know, the, the um, waves crashing to the shore. So it's very beautiful. Um, I almost got lost just now, <laughs> to be honest. But let's proceed with the read, really beautiful souls. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. It is officially, what time is it? Uh, it's 10 on the clock. It's 3.42. Let me see if I can. Uh, it always is too bright, too bright. Let me see. It's probably 3.43 now. All right, so 3.42. So that breaks down to 9.00. Um, so yeah, so that's nine. So positive changes, just as I've said. So there's going to be some changes. Some of you all, like I said, could be in hermit mode, um, really fine tuning, mastering your crafts, uh, getting yourselves prepared for what's to come. It's almost like, you know, something is about to be birthed, something you've been really mastering. Um, we have Joe Scott, uh, and this is featuring Paul Wall and, um, and this is called So Gone. So I definitely feel like, you know, with So Gone, I feel like this year is out of here. Uh, definitely feel like you've been, as I said, in that hermit mode where you could have been kind of like, you know, putting a wall up to those individuals or had a wall up, I should say, boundaries up to those individuals with whom you may have discovered, um, you know, needed a second look. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it's very important, especially when you have friends that you, you know, people who you've been calling friends for, you know, 20 plus years, 30 plus years, you sometimes you gotta, you gotta assess those friendships. Sometimes you gotta make sure that there's an equal exchange of give and take, you know, even if it's family members, sometimes you gotta take a step back to make sure that you're not in a dysfunctional or toxic um, family dynamic, you know, where people just expect certain things from you or always calling you when they need something, but you never hear from them. Otherwise, um, because because Scorpios, you're so giving because everyone knows how loyal you are um, and how emotionally intelligent and available you always seem to be. Sometimes your kindness can be taken for weakness. Sometimes you could be taken for granted. Sometimes your love can be exploited. And if you are loyal, um, the last thing you're thinking or suspecting is the people that you love are for, you know, to be suspected of doing something um, other than reciprocating that gesture of love. So you don't ever suspect those um, that you love to, to be the culprits uh, trying to harm you, trying to defame your character, or trying to set you up. Um, you never suspect that, you know, that's why it's always a tough pill to swallow when you discover that those very same people that you could have been um, really confiding in about certain things were actually the culprits trying to line you up, trying to set you up. Uh, maybe you discovered that you had family members that were sleeping with your man or you had friends, so-called friends that were, you know, trying to holler at your man. Um, it's just like, it's, it's a reality check. So when you discover that, that, uh, is a real, you know, that is, uh, a reality. Uh, I feel like you, you, you definitely push everyone away, uh, and just really protect your energy in that point. Uh, because anybody could get it. It's like, you know, now you don't know who to trust. Now you don't know what, what, you know, what was a lie apart from what's the truth. So you kind of take a step back. And I feel like with that nine, um, that we just saw on the clock, that's, you know, that's the highest number of change. So this upcoming year, uh, all of the assessments you've been doing in that hermit mode, not taking action, but just really focusing on the self, uh, discovering who you are in some instances, discovering what your passions, your dreams, your aspirations are, and then going out and uh, accomplishing those things or going out to pursue uh, those things. That's your new course of action. That's why I feel this year is going to be action packed. Um, it's going to be a lot of momentum, a lot of, of, of um, you know, I feel there's going to be a lot of activity, uh, but you will also meet other like minds in this junction of your life as well. Um, so let's tap in. We're going to utilize 
let's see what we're gonna use we're gonna go ahead and use the numerology deck okay so let's see what we got here on the bottom of the deck and we have relationship change that's number 56 which is 11 and so 56 11 that's like you know saying that there's definitely a decision a choice that you will have two is um about duality uh maybe this is a change that you're having within yourself uh because we have that masculine and feminine uh property you know each of us have that we have to balance those things out in order for us to be whole uh, you could be coming into a partnership with someone that could potentially be like your soulmate or your twin flame um, because I'm getting like, you know, two two holes make a hole. <laughs> I don't feel like two halves make a hole. I feel like you have to be a whole person and come together with a, another whole person. Uh, and whole is just another way to say uh, healed, someone who's healed themselves. Someone who's gone through the process, just like that hermit did. Hermit is a wizard, knows the answers that are found within. Uh, the answers he's seeking are found within. So that's a whole person. Um, taking the time to assess, taking the time to look at the good and bad, and the indifferent. Even taking onus, accountability, responsibility for the part they played. You have to be a whole person in order to do that and also be able to uh, be available for someone else who is also... Um, fully equipped with that ability to just be transparent so i feel like there could be a potential um love partner someone who's uh definitely um coming in right and exact like very i feel intentional i'm also getting a sense of this being someone that you know you may know uh, because I do feel like with this blue, blue deals with the throat chakra. So I do feel there's a desire to communicate. Um, and just like my ear was ringing in the beginning of the reading, my left ear, I was feeling like someone um, was definitely in your energetic field. And perhaps this is someone who communicates telepathically. Or maybe this is someone that dreams of you often and you could be picking up on their energy. I feel either way, there's a very psychic connection a very intuitive connection that you have with someone where you are both able to pick up on one another's energy the two is associated with the high priestess the high priest and i feel that not only are you the keeper of ancient wisdom knowledge and understanding but i feel whomever you are calling in energetically because you've completed cycles you've cut your losses you are now calling in someone that's going to match your vibration, speak your love language, match your fly. And so with this relationship change, if you've been single for a long time, I don't feel that you will be single for much longer because I feel like there's synergy, there's chemistry, there's a magnetic pull pulling you to your divine counterpart. As I said, that 11 is giving me like twin flame energy. This is one half of 11, but two is one and one so this is like two people who are now whole healed happy healthy individuals are coming into some sort of union so i'm getting like the two of cups even with this 56 because it breaks down to 11. so i feel strongly like there's a beautiful love story that is unfolding here and we have for some d's and this is called forgive me girl so this could be someone from your past who could have chose another option and they could be coming back very apologetic or remorseful. Uh, like I said, I was picking up on someone wanting to communicate with you. Uh, but with this relationship change, I feel this is someone coming in and desiring to commit, you know, because with the two of cups, that's like, you know, two people who are whole, healthy, happy and healed. Um, and they have first did the work on themselves. So you have to heal yourself in order to love yourself. And again, when you love yourself, you know thyself. So when you know thyself, you know your worth, value, and you don't settle for anything less. Whomever this is that's coming in to change your status, because with relationship change, and remember, we just had nine show up on the, on the clock when we first opened up the reading. I was feeling like there was some sort of positive changes. And I feel this change has to do with partnerships. 
um, any type of alliances. I was picking up on you meeting your soul tribe, your soul family, even new friendships, love ships, um, people that are on your frequency and vibration, uh, individuals that stimulate you, mind, body, and soul. You are attracting and coming into alignment with someone that is like-minded. So I'm feeling like there is something destined, a destiny type of love, or someone that is destined to be in your life. We have on the split effort. So now we have the 13, and I was picking up on that number 13 because I felt like, you know, there was a 10 of swords where you felt backstabbed, betrayed by multiple people. And then I felt the three of swords was really just you know, suffering from emotional loss overall and having to heal from that. But more importantly, you've persevered. You showed a sense of strength and resilience like none other because it transformed you for the better. And I feel like these relationships or these connections, these dynamics that you are a part of, there was a lack of effort on other people's part. I feel like you came to the connections wholehearted, full of love, and just showering that upon other people, whereas other people came looking to take, looking to steal your joy, looking to become those opportunists, um, looking for their next come up or looking for the next handout. Uh, and so there was little effort on behalf of those individuals that you were dealing with, which ultimately led to the death. The death of that old concept of having to, you know, almost like buy friendships, buy love, um, having to overcompensate, having to do more um, than your part, you know, carrying burdens and responsibilities solely on your shoulder and not making anyone um, reciprocate that gesture. I feel like you had to learn your worth and value and these individuals not putting forth that effort woke you up. I feel like you were in a sleep, a slumber, you know, and when you're asleep, it's like you are literally dead. You know, your, your mind isn't, isn't aware or awake. Um, it's not, you know, that's why I don't like the word sleep because when I feel, when you're sleep, I feel like there's, there's, you're not aware, you're not conscious of the things that happen. And that's why I always say rest. So I feel like those connections, they were definitely, um, weighing you down and they were situations, um, they were just like, um, all about what other people can get from you. And you had to learn to love you. You had to get rid of the people that were around you looking for a handout, looking for, you know, your attention, looking for your financial assistance or support. You know, it was exhausting. And so this led to a death. And this death ultimately lets you see, because this yellow is very much, you know, illuminating. It's bright. It lets you see that you had to take your power back and love you first. Because that 13 reduces to four. That's about the heart chakra. And so that's where you started to lick your wounds. You started to rejuvenate your spirit. And you started to love thyself. And that's why you're now attracting, you know, people that are going to love you right. And so we have, we have um, Notorious B.I.G. And this is called Young G's Perspective. And so with... Um, with that perspective, I feel like, you know, you started to look at the situation um, from a different vantage point where you, you know, you started to assess people for who they really were. You started to see the masks lifting. You started to see the fugaziness in their actions. You started to see the strings they were trying to pull. You started to see the gaslighting and the manipulation. Um, you may have started to, you know, um, even see, you know, hypocrisy. In some of these individuals um, and that really led to you uh, taking a step back and creating those boundaries but it's a very powerful stance um, of you know just kind of like loving you first because I feel like a lot of you all you know were very imbalanced and could have put a lot of people before you put yourself like you would give people the shirt off your back a lot of people, you know, they, they tend to uh, say that about Scorpios, like Scorpios are very giving, very loving. They'll give you the shirt off their back. And it's like when you really think about that, it's like, yeah, it's kind to to look out for people when they're in need. But why would you look out for someone to the point where you now don't have a shirt on your back? <laughs> so it's like self-preservation is something I feel you all had to learn. 
Um, it's okay to love people, but you love people. Uh, you don't have to love to the point where you're um, left without, you know, where you're now um, feeling like you don't have uh, enough to sustain yourself. So it's, it's it was it was a, a lesson that you all had to learn. Um, so let's tap in. So your perspective and your perception of love changed because you realized you had to love you first. I feel like you put a lot of people before you put yourself, and that was one of the main lessons you had to learn. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what's coming and going on going on for our beloved Scorpios in this seven universal year of 2023. And look at that. We got double seven spirituality. You know me. If you've been here before, you know I see double numbers as you know, a sign that you are attracting someone on your frequency, your vibration. So that 7-7 seven, seven is an energy of you and your person both being at that space where you have grown uh, spiritually. You are in tune. You're receiving these downloads, these upgrades, these updates, these divine interventions, transmissions. Uh, but I also feel like there's communication that could be coming in. Uh, there's heavy thoughts, heavy mental activity at this time. As I said, um, strongly feeling like someone is up in their head, thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe they're dreaming. Um, maybe they're trying to plan, prepare how to come in, how to um, express something they're feeling. But that 14 is breaking down to five. And so not only is that about the throat chakra of expression, one, you know, expressing oneself communicatively, there could also just be an expression of oneself artistically or creatively as I was picking up, uh, because I'm also getting the five, the hierophant. That's a very studious energy. That's a very powerful energy of learning, um, of mastering one's craft, sharpening one's sword, um, even discovering um, what your skills, gifts, and talents are. Uh, maybe you have an innate um, ability to, as I said earlier, you know, psychically pick up on energy, or maybe you're a healer of some sort, a shaman of some sort, and maybe this time, uh, you know, you're amplifying those 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 skills by, you know practicing utilizing those gifts and this year you're really coming into um, more activity in regards to utilizing those gifts so it's really a sense of like um, you're tapping into your spiritual selves I was picking up spiritual strength coming into spiritual alignment um, and also even a spiritual connection partnership because I was picking up one synergy chemistry and you being pulled to someone and we did see that relationship change so what we have here is 88 so two two cards that are double we got seven seven and eight eight so double numbers I feel strongly that you and the person you're attracting both went through uh, some really karmic painful karmic lessons and these lessons are now going to produce fruit um, I was picking up on, you know, the sense of like wish fulfillment and blessings. And this number eight always gives me a sense of the infinity symbol sideways, which tells us that there's infinite possibilities um, out here. So whatever it is that you have been healing from, growing from, learning from, um, it has built strength within you uh, to know that you can overcome anything, any obstacles, any burdens. Uh, because the way that you've learned was by those closest to you. And not only has that prepared you, but that has also given you some blessing. There's like rewards and recognition from spirit. Uh, this 8-8 eight, eight reduces to 16. That's 7 again. And that makes it 7-7-7. Seven, 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 uh, because that 16 breaks down to 7. So I feel there's absolute blessings. I've been seeing 777 on the back of cars, on the license plates for the past couple of weeks. I've been seeing it on my um, my receipts when I go to the store. And I've left a post on my channel, you know, explaining to you all just how blessed you are and how many wish fulfillments you all are coming into. There's amazing amazing blessings coming in for Scorpios and I feel it has a lot to do with the healing with the work that you've been doing and the work is getting down to the root to the tuta of the issue that's working from the root chakra and elevating all the way up to that seven which means you have grown you have unblocked a lot of the traumas 
a lot of the the the, the toxicity, the toxic thought processes, um, the negative self talk, the lack mentality. Like you've cleared yourselves of those things, and including getting rid of people around you that were no good. So this is a reason why there's an abundance, and this is an all pink card. So I feel like you're gonna have an abundance, a plethora of emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy. You're going to be elated. You're coming into happier times, better days ahead. So this is beautiful to open up the reading as your overall energy is just some sort of wish fulfillment and a blessing. I feel this also is kind of insinuating that someone you may feel is a wish fulfillment also feels you're their wish fulfillment. Um, I feel whomever this is, whatever this is, it's coming in quickly because the seven is associated with the chariot and the chariot is all about balance. Um, it's also about mastering oneself. As I said earlier, you know, you got to be in alignment, mind, body, and soul in order for that chariot to get those two horses to move in accordance with whatever they are demanding or speaking. Uh, they have to both, they have to all three be on the same accord. And so I feel like there's something coming in because you have been, uh, you know, absolutely harmonized. Your energy has somehow uh, you know, really been in equilibrium. And so this is bringing, bringing you the rewards, the recognition, and the blessings. So you're going to have an abundance of, um, I feel everything is all encompassing. Whatever you can think of, you can have an abundance of it, whether it's love, whether it's finances, whether it's health, you know, being at optimum health, being stronger, being more focused, even business. Um, there's going to be abundance in that. Uh, but this 7-7 seven, seven spirituality, I feel strongly, again, because uh, that's 7-7 seven, seven, and that 8-8, eight, eight, that's 15-15, uh, 15, 15, that's 6-6, six, six, and that 6 wait, 15 that's six, six. Yep, 12, that's three. So there's definitely like um, someone returning, I feel, from your past because I'm getting like the three of cups. I'm also getting like the three of pentacles, someone wanting to work together, build an alliance. Someone you could have known maybe perhaps in a former, um, you know, maybe a, a former job, maybe in a former um, town you lived in. This is someone I do feel there's distance, no communication at this time but with the three of cups like i said i feel like there's a reunion there's someone wanting to reunite uh this is mercury retrograde season so there is that that you know chance that someone from your past could be returning and coming back uh give me one moment give me one moment sorry okay sorry about that my apologies so yeah so this could definitely be someone from your past returning um as i said with these double eights this could be you know Someone who could have been wrapping up a cycle with a karmic, or you could have been wrapping up a cycle with a karmic, or this could just be both, you know, um, both of you, you and the person you're attracting, seeing one another as that wish fulfillment. And how beautiful is it that we have Norman Connors, and this is called You Are My Starship. So hence the name Star, that's what's sticking out, obviously, because I do see that number eight. Um, as like a wish fulfillment. So let's tap in. Let's see who is our beautiful Scorpios attracting to them in this new seven universal year. Thank you, spirit. We have on the bottom of the deck 71. Give me one moment. My son's mad loud. Hold on. Apologies. So we have time out here. So this is someone who could also be like matching your vibration and your fly um, in regards to like just kind of like being in, you know, being in that hermit mode. Um, working on themselves, healing themselves. As I said earlier, uh, in order to come into a partnership with that relationship change, it has to. It takes two holes. Um, you have to be whole, and when you're whole, you attract a likeness to you. And so I feel like this is definitely someone who's also, um, you know, been working on themselves. Uh, 37 represents 10. Um, that's that's an ending. It's like it's been a painful ending and a loss for them. But it's also been a gain, you know, to, uh, you know, just venture out, go in and, and have some sort of brand new start, a fresh start, uh, being able to see something, you know, maybe having that epiphanic moment. Uh, with that yellow right there in the center um, of the symbol, it just shows that there's some sort of illumination or clarity. Um, with you are my starship plane, uh, maybe someone has come to uh, this grand epiphany that you are like their wish fulfillment. Because this 88, that's 16, that's 7, and then this 37 that reduces to 10, that's 1. So that's again 8. 
Um, so someone is realizing you are their starship. You are someone that they um, feel will fulfill their needs, their desires. Uh, someone that will also match their flies. Someone that will um, just have that sense of, of likeness. Um, that will speak their love language, that will have all of the attributes, characteristics that they may be looking for in a life partner, in their divine counterpart. Um, this is also like, again, um, that wish fulfillment, that blessing coming true. Uh, someone wanting to take action because I'm getting like the eight of wands as well. Uh, this is heavily on someone's mind because this says 71-8. Uh, so perhaps taking action. Um, is kind of like stressing someone out, especially if there's no communication because I was feeling like the desire to communicate and someone, you know, sending you messages intuitively or telepathically um, so as to soften perhaps uh, the blow that may come back, that pushback that may come back when they do, you know, kind of take that leap of faith to dial your number, to send that text, uh, to knock on your door, to shoot off that email, whatever it is, even to, you know, just, just simply admit, uh, perhaps how they feel, um, with this 71 health, I'm getting like, you know, mental health, conflict, anxiety, stress, ruminating, uh, pining, overthinking, analysis, paralysis. Like this is heavily on someone's mind, heavily on someone's heart. You're heavily on someone's mind and on someone's heart. Um, and, you know, they want a new start. This is someone that does have a lot of passion, um, a lot of fire and desire. And I just saw 4242, which reduces to 66. Um, and that reduces to 12, which is three. Uh, so this does cause someone pain. I'm hearing agony, um, like they're agonizing over this. And all it takes is that leap of faith. Um, worst case scenario is you could just be like, the hell you calling me for, you know, lose this number, <laughs> you know, but at least they tried. But I just feel like someone's like really up in their head. And it could be because of perhaps something that unfolded in the past. Maybe there was miscommunication. Um, we did see that 13 effort. So there was definitely uh, some sort of painful ending or loss uh, due in part to someone not picking up their slack, not picking up you know, um, not doing their part, you know, not reciprocating, not making enough effort. And this could be something that someone is starting to see and, um, you know, realize that they perhaps self-sabotaged, you know, because the Eight of Swords could really also be like self-sabotage, um, putting the wool over your own eyes, um, you know, being kind of misguided by uh, delusion and illusion. Um, and even just false narratives, you know, um, a negative mindset, uh, faulty belief systems, ideologies, negative people around you, in your ear, um, yes people around you, you know, people who don't want to see you succeed around you and telling you all the wrong things. Um, but this is definitely like someone's really anxious about this and we're about to pull the card about how they feel about you. So I, I'm, I'm hearing nervous and I'm hearing that old BDP song, nervous, BDP, <laughs> freshest. 89 something like that well i'm hearing that like somebody's mad and nervous when they um you know think of how to approach you how to come towards you uh maybe some of you reign from the bronx um but i'm just getting a sense of like someone is just nervous like this stomach is like just in knots and we have seven streeter and it says it won't stop um and this is uh featuring chris brown <laughs> So I guess, you know, the stress, the anxiety, the fear, it just won't stop. Maybe thoughts of you won't stop. It's just constant thoughts, constant um, memories. You know, maybe, like I said, during this Mercury retrograde, things are going to hit a little differently. Uh, and it could be simply because, um, you know, there, there could have been some things that unfolded in the past that maybe someone has regrets about. But we shall see what comes out. Now, Shay, so let's tap in. How does this person, our beautiful Scorpios, are attracting to them in this new year? Feel about our beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. You can't get away from this number eight. And we have three, creativity. So that three is associated with the Empress. 
This also shows that you've reached a level of self-mastery. Like they see you as someone powerful, someone strong, master manifester, someone who sets intention, creates the desired outcomes that you so wish. This is someone who sees you as ambitious, as determined, willful, uh, someone who's a nurturer, maternal or paternal, um, sexy, you know, very attractive, very handsome, debonair, dapper, uh, someone who is very uh, skilled, uh, talented, resourceful, um, someone who's also very practical, down to earth, um, someone earthy. You know, they see you as someone that's approachable, um, but also they see you as someone that's like, you know, admired by many. Um, so it's like you have this warmth, you have very inviting energy, very, very uh, loving energy. There's a strength in you. There's wisdom, wise dome, but they also feel a little nervous, maybe intimidated by that. Um, I do feel like they see you as that divine counterpart, that divine uh, feminine. I just saw 4646. So that's 1010, yet again, mirroring of numbers. So there has been some sort of uh, painful loss, painful ending. But I'm also seeing like the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of cups. So it's like all tens across the board is what I'm hearing. So it's like they see you as someone that's very refined, um, someone who is very like... Um, you know, very independent, skillful, uh, determined, um, strong, willed. Um, they see you as very regal, very royal. Uh, maybe you have healing abilities. Maybe you are gifted spiritually. But they just see you as someone who has like this radiance. Because uh, this is a very radiant um, card. Very, It's all yellow, uh, similar to this pink, which is all pink, which speaks to the emotional um, intelligence and fulfillment you'll feel this speaks to the strength the resilience the wise dome the illumination that you have as well and I just saw 47 47 which is 11 11 so this is someone that does feel you are like their divine counterpart their cosmic companion and the card that flew out or the cards because there's two is we have the number 44 environment so this is showing me how they feel about you with that eight Yet again, and this is all green, um, they see that you have healed um, from whatever karmic lessons. Uh, they see that you have built up your strength, your courage, your wise dome. And now you are, you know who you are, you know your worth, you know your value. And we have Tina Marie, and this is called Square Biz. So there's definitely like, with this eight, you know, I'm getting like, this is definitely, um, you know, giving me like wish fulfillment, like they absolutely feel you're that wish fulfillment, feel that you have something to add on, um, feel that you're someone that they, uh, you know, have grown to love, like they see now, like you are someone that they can, you know, pursue or that they want to pursue you because I have um, this seven and this eight here. So I do feel like there's like, um, not seven, this is eight, and eight and eight is 16, that's seven. So this is showing me like they are moving towards you. I'm getting chariot. Um, but they also feel perhaps that you could be a little guarded. Um, you may have your boundaries up. You may be on this this vibe where, you know, don't disturb my groove type of energy. Um, you know, so they may see you as very guarded. Uh, but I also feel like this is someone uh, you have planted seeds and roots with. Uh, perhaps you met this this person um, on your block in your neighborhood. Maybe you went to school with this person. Maybe you used to work with this person. There is a sense of familiarity, um, even commonality. You know, I feel like this person is matching your vibration in terms of the heart chakra uh, because this is 4-4 four, four, and that deals with, you know, the heart, um, the heart space. This person feels love for you and this person knows that you're capable of loving them in the same way. Uh, with Tina Marie, maybe someone is dealing with someone named Tina um, or Marie, you know, that could be a loved one. Uh, but I'm also getting a sense of, you know, this is just showing that you have overcome a lot of the pain, like your love for self, 
um, has led you to moving on, moving away from what wasn't serving you. Because uh, I'm getting like the Eight of Cups here as well. Changing your environment, um, having a change of heart, uh, creating that safe space, that safe haven. We also have this 81 leadership that flew out. So they see you as taking control, taking you know the reins and, and moving in the direction that you so wish to go and desire to go to. Um, and this eight along, I mean, this seven and this nine reduces to 16, which is again, seven. So you have taken your power back. Um, they see you as all of the uh, things that I've mentioned previously is like just very strong, willful, determined, um, very bold, uh, willing to take risks, very daring, um, but also not backing down. Not even for a minute, not even for a second. Like you're now, you know, standing your ground and speaking your truth. And this is something that they know you have taken the time, um, you know, to develop within yourselves. Because I do feel like this is something, a characteristic that you may not have always had. Uh, because they see that you have healed, you've been growing, um, you know, during this time away, during this time apart. And this is something I feel they admire. Um, and I also feel like. You know, they're, they're seeing even, you know, how they may have sabotaged as well. There's just this light, you know, where they are seeing something. So we have this three on the bottom of the deck. Absolutely. Even if you're masculine, uh, someone finds you to be very attractive, especially this new you, this new improved version of you, um, this healed version of you, um, doing that inner work, doing that shadow work, even learning to balance your 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 shadow and your light side. Um, that requires work. That requires um, a, a level of self um, awareness. Uh, and so someone sees you know, this, this quality in you now, uh, where you may not be, you know, really uh, trying to be vindictive or vengeful in your actions, but more understanding of where people are um, and you're meeting them where they are. Um, and those that you don't feel the necessity to entertain, you, you keep them blocked. Um, but whomever this is, I do feel like they have a soft spot in your heart as well. Um, and I feel like they will come in with the appropriate um, attitude and behavior um, with square biz. I definitely am getting like L7 vibes. That's an old seven. If you put an L and a seven together, that creates a square. So maybe this person in the past, um, maybe they thought you were square. Maybe they thought, you know, they didn't see your worth. They didn't see your value. Um, but you, you know, standing independently. This has somehow, um, you know, put you on a on on um, in a place of, of like self mastery because it's like you focused on mastering yourself, your craft. You've started to really put your attention into the things that mattered. Um, maybe your finances improved since you've departed from this person. Maybe you've relocated. Um, maybe just being able to sustain yourself and your livelihood. Maybe someone watches you from a distance and they see how much you have been able to obtain in their absence. Um, but I do feel like this is you like losing yourself in something um, that you're very passionate about. And not only losing yourself, but also finding finding your purpose, finding your 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 path, finding um, your passions, um, and and this is an innate gift. So you you are mastering your craft and honing your skills uh, in that process, because that's giving me also like the eight of pentacles, where you were working very hard, very studious, very tediously, very focused. Um, you know, just to uh, you know, because you knew that the foundation of your happiness was based upon your independence um, and that's how you're now able to stand you know very perpendicular in your square and stand erect um, but this is a beautiful energy so let's tap in so let's see um, what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios for this seven universal year what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios for the seven universal year and we have 87 synchronicities so pay attention to the signs, uh, the angel numbers that may come through. They come through by all means on clocks, on your phone, you know, maybe on a video you could be watching, maybe on the back of someone's license plate, maybe on a house, um, 
someone's address maybe on your receipts but pay attention to the sign synchronicities it could come in the form of numbers it may also come in the form of sound um, you may hear a certain bird calling at night an owl hooting at night or uh, uh, you know maybe even a cardinal um, singing during the daytime uh, but pay attention to the signs the synchronicities pay attention to um, just the way you feel in the in the nature in the element of nature um, if you have a bird that poops on your head um, that's positive that's a good that's a good sign that's good luck um, as vast as this world is as infinite as it is for a bird to poop on you um, that says a lot, you know, and that's almost like spirit is like beating you over the head with like message. You know, angels are, you know, very symbolic of messages from angels, from spirit. When you find feathers, that is also a sign of, you know, your angels, your guides letting you know that they're with you, giving you that nudge. Um, so pay attention to all of your surroundings. Um, that's why I, I'm an advocate when you are out in nature. Uh, don't be so focused on your phone. Like, just be there now. You know, nature is a space where you are to really be grounded in that energy. Sit somewhere where there's water, where there's trees. The trees communicate with you. The trees are very healing, very informative. Just think the water and trees have been here since the beginning of time. Very ancient energy. And so connect with that. Um, connect with that, beloveds. I'm getting a strong sense of that because there's really like, I feel like there's downloads that you all um, are to receive, especially during Mercury retrograde, uh, which is why I feel like there was that energy of like being uh, with oneself, um, needing to be with oneself, with one's thoughts in a meditative state uh, so that you could contemplate on your next move so that you can, um, you know, really set intention on whatever it is you desire to pursue. Uh, but with the synchronicity, there's going to be a lot of things, um, you know, signs pointing you in specific directions. This could also be in regards to the person you're attracting, uh, who's also receiving these signs and these synchronicities. Uh, this person from the past who has finally had some sort of epiphanic moment where they have this adoration. Um, they admire you, they attracted to you, they love you, um, and they have regrets. So they could be coming in apologetic. Um, but I also feel like, you know, listen to your, your intuition, uh, because this is also saying with that 87, it breaks down to 15, which is six. It's like, trust your intuition and use discernment in every scenario, every scenario, trust, you know, how you're feeling that inner gumption. Ashe. So let's see what's hidden in the energy. We have personal growth. See that? So this is a beautiful confirmation of what I've been saying already. And then we have this 14 moderation. So absolutely beautiful energy because that's 7, that's 5, so that's 12, that's 3. So that's showing that you have persevered not only through the, the, the painful losses, the betrayals, the deception, the infidelities, maybe the loss of loved ones. You could be healing from that. Um, whatever it is, it's like this has absolutely changed you and the trajectory of your life. You have grown personally to the point where you are spiritually strong, spiritually in alignment. Um, you have been able to make the necessary changes and moderations to the self so that you could persevere and move forward. As I've mentioned with that seven and that five, that's showing me that there is someone who desires to return, uh, to reconcile, to rekindle this connection because they too have been making the necessary changes and moderations because your growth has inspired them to do so. That 14 breaks down to five, that's the hierophant. You can only, you know, change yourselves. You can't change another person, but you can inspire someone to want to change, to want to be better. And I feel like with this personal growth, this has shown that you have really um, trusted your gut instinct, your intuition to make those modifications and you inspired the people around you. Uh, so much so that they began to do their due diligence, to study, um, to heal, to grow. 
And that's really what it's all about. And now that there's been this beautiful um, process of healing um, simultaneously between you and the person you're attracting, it's like now there is a union that could take place. So with this seven and this one, that's eight, eight and eight, 16, that's seven, seven and nine, that's 16, that's seven. So seven and seven, that's 14, that's five, 14 and 14, that's five, five. So now there is like almost like a, a, an ending. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So something that transpired and ultimately led to the demise of a relationship can also be that breath of life to reincarnate or to resuscitate a connection uh, with this 14, 14, um, 5, 5, 10. This is like that new beginning, that new start, that new opportunity to perhaps smooth things over is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. I'm hearing uh, Fleetwood Mac, and this is called Rhiannon. So I feel like, you know, Rhiannon is a very mystical being, uh, very magical, uh, able to manifest the desired, you know, whatever they desire, their intentions manifest in real time. So this is saying like, you know, because that one is associated with the magician. So this is someone who could potentially be manifesting you back into their life. This is someone that desires to communicate with you. There's no communication. So the way that they may communicate would be to, to, to telepathically or intuitively connect with you. With that 7, that 1414, this is showing me that someone is absolutely manifesting someone back into their lives. And Spirit is saying, pay attention to how you feel, to your intuition. I was picking up on the sense that uh, someone was, you know, sending you messages um, and just kind of like in your energetic field or sphere, your space, um, because my ear was ringing, my left ear was ringing, and I felt like they were sending you messages to prepare you. So let's tap in. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios in the seven universal year spirit? May I have a message of love and light. So you all are magical beings. I feel like whoever you're attracting is also very spiritual, very magical. Because remember, we did have 7-7 seven, seven spirituality um, show up. And so this is showing me that, you know, you both have reached a level of, you know, self-mastery. You both know how to utilize your um, spiritual gifts and talents. Um, so let's tap in. So divine spirit of love and light. Okay. What did I say about a new beginning? So absolutely, there's a new opportunity to reconcile, rekindle, to rejuvenate a relationship. And what did I say about communication? They're working their way back to you. So with that one and that one, and then this three, three, that's four, four. So this is showing me that's eight. So there's a new beginning because there's a wish fulfillment. Someone will take action because I'm getting the eight of wands. I also feel someone's walking away from something, someone that no longer serves them because we did see that 10, 10 there or that 10, which is one. So there is a new beginning here. There is a new start. There is an opportunity, I feel, to reconcile, um, to work together, to build together because I'm getting that eight of pentacles all over again as well. I'm seeing the eight of wands taking action, being action oriented because in the past there was a lack of effort. And I feel like whoever this is, if they were a part of, you know, the cuts that you made in the, in the past while you were healing and going through your process of, of growing and, and evolving, um, I feel they're coming back very intentional. Um, so as to show you the changes that they've made, the moderations that they've made, the, the maturity, um, you know, the growth that they've had, the growing, the growth spurt that they've had. Uh, but this is someone very passionate. There's a beautiful brand new beginning, brand new, brand new opportunity, success, opulence. And I also feel communication is here. Someone has had the, had that grand epiphany. Someone has seen the light, so to speak. And um, they wish to communicate or convey whatever it is that they are feeling. Um, this is something that I feel like spirit has exposed them to or revealed to them. Perhaps their behavior, their, you know, time apart or time away has um, opened up, you know, kind of like their, their eyes, you know, to see exactly what um, mistakes they were making. And this is what's going to, um, you know, encourage them to take action. So that's beautiful. So what's underneath that? Synchronicity, surrender. Yep. Sounds about right. Mate. 
And so we have, um, who is this? This is Dave, uh, Dave East. And the name of the song is called Chills. So with chills, maybe they, you're giving them the cold shoulder, you know, so that could be a little, you know, re that could be a reason why they could be a little apprehensive. Um, but we shall see. Let's tap them, beloveds. So I'm going to pull some energy from the sexual tarot. It's been a minute since I've used this deck, and I like to use it. Let me see. Make sure everything is all right. Half of the cards are in the wrong direction. All right. So what's on the bottom? Look at that. The Eight of Wands. I just told you all I was feeling Eight of Wands. So there goes the Eight of Wands. So they will take action. You know, I feel like they just feel like your response is going to be cold, you know, because uh, before you get to the eight of wands, you get the seven of wands. And that's like where you're kind of like fighting off anybody trying to come in. Um, that's when your guard is way up, you know, um, 20 foot wall is what I'm hearing. Um, you know, so they feel like you got a wall up. And let's take a look. So we have here um, the knave of chalices. So this is the page of chalices. Or the Page of Cups. And we have the Eight of Wands. So if you see there, you could see he's like doing all of the things I've mentioned. Uh, penning a letter. Um, there is a feather there. So this is like them getting that guidance. Remember I was speaking to, you know, the card that showed up, the Synchronicity card, uh, which is right here. And I was saying, you know, you may find a feather or they may find a feather. Um, there may be certain animal totems. Uh, things to that nature but this is like someone who's like you know they're writing a letter then they're balling it up um you know they're they're trying to get their thoughts together and if you look closely um it's almost like this is what's in their mind uh in their memory see these two people here embracing one another so it's like th this is what they desire to to take this action to come back to be all lovey-dovey to love on you um however uh, they could be up in their head, you know, with how to approach you, as I said, you know, because we have Dave East um, that was rhyming chills. So they may feel like you're a little cold and they give them the cold shoulder. Um, and so they could be struggling with trying to get their words together, trying to express themselves appropriately because uh, they don't want to look like a punk either. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, so the, the, they're just trying to figure out a way to to say what needs to be said. You know, it's like maybe this is something that they struggle with is communicating their feelings. Um, a lot of people struggle with expressing their feelings, their true feelings. It's like a block. It's a wall. And a lot of the reason is because they didn't grow up in a home where they felt like they had the freedom to express their truth. Um, if they try to, someone would call them a punk. Someone would call them weak. Someone would call them emotional, especially masculines. Like, you know, a lot of masculines, you know, especially the ones I grew up around and grew up with who had that wall, who were not expressive. Um, they grew up in environments where any show of emotion or feeling, it was deemed weak or feminine. Oh, you acting like a little bitch right now. You acting like a girl. Oh, you talking, you, you got feelings. Like, it, so they kind of shun men from showing emotion. And then when you get in a relationship with a man that has no ability to be vulnerable, then we want to call him toxic. We want to call him. So it's like we've created the monsters that we're now trying to um, teach them to unlearn all of the crazy ish they probably were brought up with. So the belief systems, that's where the healing has to take place. We got to change our mind. And most of us, if not all of us need to unlearn what we've learned during those formative years. Because when you look at your own parents and you see they weren't equipped with the ability to raise us. So it's like you have to learn the right way on your own. So you got to unlearn whatever it is that was, was embedded in you and instilled in you as a child, especially if it was toxic. And I feel like, you know, that, that uh, form of expression, a lot of people have been silenced as a child. You know, if you even think about children now, most parents don't allow their children to express themselves because they feel like they're being disrespectful. Oh, who you talking back to? Oh, you better respect. It's like, nah, your children have has the right to express themselves. I give my children the floor. If they feel a certain way, I need to know how they feel so I can take into account how I may be, you know, impacting them as their mother. 
because I don't want them to grow up and have to unlearn and break generational curses right after I just did it. So it was like, nah, you got to learn from the mistakes that you've you've learned from learn from the mistake and you 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 um, show up differently so as a mother we sit down we have conversations everyone is able to express their authentic selves um, you know if they feel the need to to curse curse if you if that's how you feel if you got to give it give that emotion um, you know a word and, and a curse word is all you feel in that moment go ahead if you need to punch a pillow uh, you know I it's just like I, I give them an opportunity to have an outlet because the reason why a lot of people suffer from depression and all of these things is because they're trying to be something that they are not you know and who they are they feel isn't good enough because they can't be that around the people around them because they have expectations of who they supposed to be so it's just a freaking shit show so it's like i open and encourage each of you to like tap into your own emotions because that's the only way you're going to be able to um have healthy relationships to begin with so i digress say all of that to say that could be what was going on so we have here um the nine of swords you know, so this is someone definitely like really, really thinking um, about intimacy, um, intimate moments. Maybe your your scent, um, you know, maybe you wore a certain perfume or a certain cologne. Um, maybe there was an intimate moment. Maybe something got really close to becoming sexual and then you guys stopped. Um, whoever this person is, it's like they analyze that moment or rethink that moment replay that moment every day over and over and over um and this is someone who just wants to be with you wants to you know return so this is powerful i feel like this person may also you know because i was getting like someone thinking of you so much that it's like it's it's like mental conflict um it's almost torture to to just think of somebody constantly um and not express you know how you truly feel or feel like you can't express how you truly feel maybe because of your ego um maybe because of fear maybe there's just a genuine fear of of emoting or being vulnerable or maybe there's a fear of rejection but whomever this is i strongly feel like they're getting past this fear and they're getting closer to taking action um and we have j cole here and this is called apparently, you know, so apparently this person will take action. Um, I feel like they will be active. They will follow their passion. They will follow how they feel. Um, and it's because they have mustered up the strength, the courage, the wise don't to do so. So it's like they are going to confront their fears, brave their light, and they're going to come at you and say what they need to say. Um, even if it's like walking away from something that does not serve them anymore. Um, there goes the hierophant that I was speaking about, you know, cause it's like, they've learned something in this time out during this time out, you know, I feel like they have absolutely taken their power back. I feel like they've also built their spiritual strength. I feel like they've also, you know, learned from karmic lessons and this is why there is this new beginning, this new start, this opportunity to reconcile, to resuscitate a connection. And we have this King of Swords and the Knave. So Knave, um, I'm sorry, and the uh, Hierophant here. So there could have been someone who was very cold. You know, this is someone who could be very cold, very stoic. You know, um, just icy. Because remember, we had Dave East and. Uh, it was called chills so maybe this was someone who was very cold you know wasn't really emotionally available maybe they was just kind of like treating you um you know just very distant you know not emotionally available you know scorpios require uh that emotional connectivity uh because you are you know you are emotional beings so it's like you need someone that's going to match your emotional intelligence in order for it to work or someone that can balance it bring you down to reality you know and so we have this uh, Queen of Wands here. Someone could have been entangled in, you know, some sort of third party. Someone could have also just been, you know, operating out of a space of lust. You know, maybe they had some other options, you know, and um, the ego does what the ego does, beloved. 
you know so let's tap in so let's tap in and see what's coming in for our beautiful Scorpios in this 2023 seven universal year beloveds I'm going to clarify these messages on a spirit of love and light the bottom of the deck is clarifying the 88 abundance which is the overall energy Ooh. and look what we have here we have the four of chalices on the bottom of the deck but we have the seven of wands see that seven of wands this is the guardedness but this is also showing because this 88 abundance and this seven of wands this is like seven seven which is 14 that's five so this is that same person that was making the moderations when you think of the seven of wands, you think of someone protecting their self, protecting themselves from, you know, an attack, protecting themselves from, you know, just the drama. But on this card, it is depicted, you know, as someone who's embracing, you know, this is like someone embracing another person. Um, but if you look, he's just, you know, he's kind of like groping her and. You know, and she's really looking like she just needs to be consoled. Um, and he's looking like he got something else on his mind. So perhaps this person wasn't as emotionally intelligent um, as you needed them to be. Um, but I feel that was the moderation that they needed to make was, you know, to not act out of lust um, to not act out of a place of just, you know, physical attraction, but to connect more emotionally because this is the pink card that deals with the heart chakra. And so with that 7-7, seven, seven, that reduces to 14, that's 5. I feel like they really had to learn uh, to, to really heal, you know, themselves, really learn to emote um you know, express themselves emotionally, be a vulnerable, um, even emotionally, uh, communicative even about their feelings or about their desires. Um, because I feel like, you know, this may have been someone who could have been guarded in regards to their feelings and emotions. They could have been very blocked off. Um, I feel you were opened, you know, your heart was opened, you was ready for love. Uh, but this person just kind of like kept you at an arm's distance, so to speak. Um, but with that 8-8, eight, eight, uh, which is showing me like, you know, there is an, uh, there is this, this uh, sense of likeness between the two of you. Uh, because I feel, as I said, you know, with that 7-7 seven, seven there, that breaks down to 14, that's 5, that's the Hierophant. Someone has had to mature. Um, someone has had to grow, had to evolve. Um, I feel it's because they've watched you. We got Rick James, Ebony Eyes. So it's like, I feel like this person has watched you. Um, I feel like this person watches you from a distance and they've learned. They've learned some things. Uh, with this four of chalices, uh, I see that this person may need to, you know, leave a situation. Like they, they may have been in some sort of domestic partnership during this time apart from you they could have gotten caught up in a karmic relationship um because i feel like they may have had many suitors um and they took a break from all of that you know it was it was causing more confusion than anything and i feel like what they've discovered is they want to depart that as well um we could see here there is a set of scissors you know there's also um other items that appear to be like a magnet, um, you know, and that also looks like some sort of um, maybe a spool of thread, you know, like someone was trying to bind someone. So maybe they was stuck in a relationship with someone who could have been kind of like holding them hostage and they took time out and listened to their intuition. This purple is giving me a sense of them like listening to their intuition, receiving spiritual guidance and nudges. Uh, from their guides, you know, kind of letting them know uh, to pay attention with ebony eyes playing, um, you know, see, you know, you need to see deeper, see deeply into this uh, situation that you may be entangled in because, you know, maybe this is all lust, you know, um, 
and not much love. I feel someone's also, if you see, she's kind of blocking his way out of the door, you know, um, kind of laying it on thick, trying to make him feel obligated or, you know, telling him how much she loves him. And he's like, look, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to exit stage left. Uh, someone feels like they need a break. You know, they need a break from something that could have been very, like, toxic. He looks drained. He looks like he has nothing left to give. She's just talking a hole in his head. Um, and if you look, you know, this is her stash that she's probably been using, you know, to keep him stuck in a space where, you know, he just needs a break altogether. Uh, but this person has also got other things on their mind. Um, you see that bird, you know, that's just perched right there and it's almost as if that bird is giving a bird's eye view leaving a little message uh, this bird could be singing and that could be the synchronicity that you know this masculine or this feminine is receiving um, in this instance to let them know it's time to it's time to spread your wings and fly beloved it's time to get out of a situation it's time for a new beginning you know um, something has run its course it's it's reached you know the climax and it's time to move on um and someone is starting to see this for themselves with ebony eyes playing so let's tap in so why is 37 time out here for the person our beautiful scorpios are attracting to them they have a message of love and light why is 37 time out here for this person that our beautiful scorpios are attracting to them thank you spirit finish my shuffle this felt on the floor and so we have the three of chalices. Didn't I say they want to return? This is someone wanting to return back to you. And this is someone who is like literally, you know, they are, boy, are they attracted to you. Because that, that 37 reduces to one. And that's a very felicious number. So this is someone who, like I said, maybe they self-please themselves. Maybe they just reminisce on this love. But this is someone who is very much attracted to you sexually, mentally, emotionally. Um, I feel like this person does feel y'all have a beautiful sexual chemistry. Um, this is someone who daydreams a lot about this as well. Like they, they daydream and they think about this, you know, this intimate moment. You know, they think about being with you intimately. Wow. And we have Donnell Jones. Have you seen her? So, yeah, they, they're thinking about this because you are lost in translation. Like, you're so guarded right now. They hold these things in their spirit. Like, they hold you and carry you in their spirit. Because I'm getting, like, the four of pentacles with this 37, 1, and 3 of cups you know this is like four i'm getting like the four of pentacles also so this is like someone who's been holding on to you maybe holding on to um you know that moment when you may have been intimate with someone you could have been intimate with this person and this is something they constantly think of with have you seen her they haven't seen you in a minute you may have dropped off the radar maybe you have deactivated the accounts that they used to they used to use to kind of shadow, um, you know, to 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 uh, kind of um, watch you in the shadows. Um, but this is definitely someone that feels, you know, like there, there's a strong a strong attraction. This is someone who could love like your breasts, you know, someone who's like their touch drove you crazy like they just touch you and you just kind of you're you're on fire i feel like they have like strong hands even if it's not a masculine maybe there's a feminine who just she may have massaged you um in a certain way and it just was really like her touch is just drives you crazy i'm hearing the word ravish this person wants to ravish you and so we have here the Eight of Chalices. So this could be someone that you walked away from. I was getting the Eight of Chalices with this as well. Like, you know, self-love is walking away from a relationship that makes you feel emotionally bankrupt. You know, especially if someone is not making the effort, not showing you how special you are, not appreciating you or your time, your energy. So you could have walked away. 
how they feel about you is you are gone. You know, bye, baby. Like, my baby's gone. You know, they feel like they want to beg for your forgiveness. You can see he's, like, kind of begging her, and she's like, uh. And that's the coldness I was feeling, the cold shoulder, you know. This is someone that does want to return. And with have you seen her, maybe someone is receiving these messages like from their homeboys. Maybe they got friends or maybe even cousins or other people that are associated with the both of you. And they're like, dang, did you see, have you seen her lately? Man, she looking good. Have you seen him lately? Man, he lost about 30 pounds. Man, is he all cock diesel. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like he grew out that beard. Beloved. Like, have you seen him? His old shiny beard beautiful man like you know like these these could be the conversations that they're having with people and it's making them feel even more anxious about this situation and we have tony terry with you playing so someone could be dealing with someone named tony terry you know there's been so many names that passed that i didn't mention dave you know um maybe there was someone named uh oof I don't want to get to line because I forgot all the songs that played. Um, let me see. Tony, Donnell, Jones, first, middle, or last. Someone with a J in their name, Marvin. Um, maybe someone is gay in the life uh, that you're dealing with. Maybe you're in a gay relationship because um, we have Marvin Gay. Um, maybe someone named Bobby, Bob, Tina, Marie. Uh, we got seven streeter. We're entering into seven universal year. Um, maybe someone named Chris or Brown. They could be, you know, an earth sign. Uh, someone named Jill, Paul, Scott. So that's just what I'm getting. Maybe you all are dealing with someone like that or with those names. So let's tap in, beloved. So we got this eight of chalices. So this is how they feel, like you are far removed from this situation emotionally because you walked away. Walking away from anything that does not serve you, your highest good, somebody doesn't appreciate you, walking away is the best thing you can do because you felt emotionally bankrupt. You're giving and giving to a vessel that got a hole on the bottom of it. So they're never going to be filled, they're never going to be full, they're never going to appreciate you. So you walked away and you took your power back and you focused on... You know, loving thyself, healing thyself, growing, maturing, elevating. So let's see, why does this person um, feel 44 environment, 81 leadership here for my beautiful Scorpios? I have a message of love and light. Why does this person feel 44 environment, 81 leadership? And we have on the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. That's why. What did I say? Even if you're a masculine, the Emperor, in control, in charge. We saw that creativity card. They birth new ideas, new ways of thinking. They are the 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 you know like the trendsetters. You know this is this is who creates the trend. This is who revolutionizes the ideas. You know this is what they see you as. Um, and so we have the ten of pentacles. Didn't I say I felt the ten of pentacles, ten of cups type of energy? This is what they feel with you. This is someone willing to compromise, willing to build, nurture, cultivate a relationship. This is someone that just watches you. You know, they could just watch you while you're resting. This is someone that wants to, you know, grow old with you, grow a business with you. This is someone that wants to be supportive of you. This is someone that feels you match their fly, their vibration. They feel like they can build a home, a nucleus, a family, a business with you. This is someone that sees happy house, happy spouse, someone that sees a happily ever after, building a legacy. This is beautiful energy. And what did I say? The star. I can't make this up. It says the stars. So I told you guys that this person and you see one another as stars. When you look at this person and they look at you, there's a reflection, a reflection of you, your divine counterpart looking back at you. This is a beautiful, beautiful confirmation. So not only is it the top 10 of pentacles, you guys have worked your ways from the 8 of pentacles all the way to the 10 of pentacles, all on your own. It's like this person wants to give you, you know, um, they want to come in and be supportive. They want to add on. They're not coming in to destroy. We also have the moon. So there's the heavy, heavy thought. There's a lot of things that you may not be aware of, including how this person feels. This could be a cancer, someone who has cancer in their chart. I definitely feel like 
trust your intuition i definitely feel like this person dreams of you because this is the moon so heavy you know heavy lunar activity with this person you know constant thoughts this is powerful and then we also have the seven of pentacles and so that seven of pentacles is also giving me a sense of <clears throat> excuse me especially on this card you know, like this is someone that does, you know, want to um, maybe this is how they feel without you. You know, they feel like, you know, this is because I'm seeing a lot of little ingredients here. Yeah, they feel unfulfilled. It's like, I feel like they reminisce on the love y'all had. There's a lot of nostalgic. I just feel like, especially next to the moon, I feel like this is just kind of like what they're imagining or what they're daydreaming of. Just like, you know, because the seven of pentacles is when you feel you put in so much time, energy, effort, and you ain't get nothing back. And so with this energy, I just get a sense of this like feeling like very much like past energy. You know, I just, I, I don't know why I get a sense of like past energy, you know, them not really seeing, you know, your worth and value until you moved on and left. You know, maybe they were preoccupied with someone else in another connection. It was all based on lust that could have lost, you know, that could have caused the, the demise of the connection with you. But how they feel about you is like, you know, this like, there's still unfinished business because with the seven of pentacles, I just always feel like. You know, the hard work will pay off because it's based upon the seeds you've sown. So if you sowed in good faith, you receive your just due. You know, and maybe that's what this person wants to do is come back and they want to reconcile. That's why they come in with this Ten of Pentacles. But I do feel this person does desire you. They feel you're their wish fulfillment. They feel like you are just, you're perfect. You know, like you just, you, you are Everything that they look for, whether you are feminine or masculine. And we have um, delegation, and this is called Oh Honey. So they definitely are sweet on you. They definitely feel you're like their honey buns. They may like your buns, your booty. They might like your, you know, you might just be stacked nicely. As I'm seeing, I don't know why I'm seeing a stack of pancakes when I said honey. You know, but it was like really syrup kind of oozing down the side. But I was hearing stack like, you know, so they, they just really feel um, you you are proportioned very well. Even if you're a masculine, you packing, beloved, you're just you're packing. And so this empress here very much attracted, attracted to you, attracted to. Because remember, all of this re reduced to one because we had five, five. All of this was seven. This was seven, uh, 14, 14, and that was 5, 5. That was 1, and then this is the Empress. So there's no denying how attracted they are to you sexually, as I said, mentally, spiritually, you know, physically. There's You just do it for this person. And you know who you are. Like, you're, you're not confused. You're not backing down. You know, you're not settling because you know your worth. So this is also just as attractive to them is that you you are sure about yourself. You've changed and this has made them see you differently. You know, this is powerful. So why is the seven personal growth 14 moderation here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios? We have a message of love and light, spirit of love and light. Thank you. I got a card that flipped over. Are there any more? Bottom of the deck we have. High Priestess. Pay attention to your intuition. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles here. So. Mm, with this Nine of Pentacles. Someone is absolutely drawn to you. Because you are. It's like they want to cater you know, I'm, I'm hearing like with delegation, it's like 
anything you delegate, you know, delegate, ask, you know, whatever you ask of someone, it's like they're going to be willing to do it. You know, because I see this here is like he's 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 trimming her hair. So it's almost like he is like beautifying her. He's he's willing to cater to her needs. You know, this is the change I was picking up on like someone who um, is now going to be more effective in showing how they feel, be more active, proactive, uh, be more intentional with their actions because this is what they've learned. This is the mat maturation. There's not, they, they will go as far as to trim your hair if you ask them. You know, if you were female and this is a male, they will go as far as to get your 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 female products. You know, if this is a male and they have a female coming back, this could be someone who will finally, you know, fold your clothes, you know, after they wash them, hang them up, you know, press them, cook you a meal at least once or twice. A week, you know, like this is someone coming back intentional, making, you know, the changes that they know is what led to the demise. So those changes, they are making those changes. Why? Because they've grown. And they've grown from watching you being inspired by your growth. So this is someone I feel like coming back very intentional. And I feel in many ways you could have manifested this, spoke this into existence. You know, with this high priestess, it's like you know this. Like you're very in tune, very tapped in. So let's tap in. So why is New Beginning? Dang, son. That card got bent. I didn't even get it out of my mouth. I'm going I'm to um, take it, but I'm going to take another one. So this card got bent to all hell. So this is the Knight of Swords. And this is the Knight. Um, so they're going to come. And they may rush in. Like, you may not even expect them. Remember in the very beginning of the reading, the sirens were going out going off and I was saying how there could be some unexpected news or something could happen um, and I feel like you know maybe there's maybe something is going to lead to them leaving a situation and rushing towards you maybe something is exposed you see how these people are watching something's exposed maybe someone they were dealing with they may realize or find out they had an only fans or they was doing something strange for a little bit of change you know Something a little sussy. And this puts them right back in the arms of their beloved, which is you. That's the seven of chalices. So let's tap in. Let's get one more message. Why is this one new beginning here? Along with the knight of swords for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. And what they're attracting in 2023. They have a message of love and a message of light. So like you will have options, you will have choices. And look at this, you have the sun. So something that's bringing you happiness, bringing you joy. I feel like this person also has had that epiphany as I was mentioning. And I also see the two of pentacles. So if there was any confusion as to who they ought to pick or who they ought to choose, I feel like there's going to be some sort of clarity. As I said, someone's going to see, um, you know, the, the dynamics. They're going to look at something and, and, and say, hey, okay, what's of more importance? Is it this lustful exchange I have with this person where it's just all based off sex, vanity, you know, or is it this beautiful, warm embrace? You know, this feeling of happiness. This is love, you know, that you can't get that twisted at all. We're in the sun sign of Capricorn. You know, so Capricorn is like that devil energy. So they could be really um, discovering like they're they're possessive of you. You know, they 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 want to fight for this. Um, and this was a heavy decision, a choice, a, a tough decision or choice to make. Um, maybe it's difficult for them to turn down, you know, um, booty, <laughs> you know, um, but I feel like I'm hearing turning a new leaf. You know, this could also just be like, you know, something can, some things get bored. You know, you, you become bored. If you're able to get something so easily, I know most men, most people like a fight. They like a challenge. And when you could just get into someone's pants easily, it, it just becomes very like, okay, all right, on to the next. Look for something more challenging, something more fulfilling. 
you know, something that's more emotionally, um, um, emotionally intense as well. This is love. This is happiness. This is joy. This is like reuniting with someone. This is also someone like, like I said, having that epiphanic moment that this is love right here. This is a wish fulfillment. And the train is going back, so there is distance. And I feel someone has to make a decision. Someone could also be under someone's spell, because you can see here, it's like there's like almost like a cauldron, and they're burning like herbs and leaves. And remember, we also saw like the scissors and the thread and the magnet. And this high priestess is on the bottom of the deck. So she could be doing some voodoo, some hoodoo, juju, santeria, black magic, white magic, ritual work to keep someone stuck, to keep them under the spell. You know, they could be using sex. They could be a sexual deviant themselves. And this is, they know, like, you know, that this is like this person's weakness. You know, like they may have sexual addiction or they just may be that incubus, succubus type of energy whether it's female or male, where they use sex to get what they want. They use sex as a weapon. And this is what they enjoy doing. You know, they enjoy having these, um, these sexual encounters with this person. So let's tap in. Let's get a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So we're going to use Kipper. See what Kipper got to say. All right, beloved. And we are one hour, 41 minutes. Okay. So we got great fortune here on the bottom of the deck. So I feel exactly like I said, completing karmic cycles lessons definitely is going to bring you wish fulfillment, fortune, fame, success, blessings, expansion. I feel this is coming from the angels, from your guides, your ancestors. And this is bringing in some sort of abundance here. You can see here that there is something that you've worked hard for and you are receiving the blessings that you have worked for. Oops. Oopsie daisies. And look what I see. I only think of you on two occasions. See that? Somebody's thinking of you. And look at the grand number, seven. And that thinking is going to, you know, they're going to start enacting on that. They're going to start making some moves. Look at this. Unexpected income on the bottom of the deck. You all are receiving blessings. This is like because things have changed within your paradigm, within your mental. You have now, you know, this reward because spirit is recognizing you. And this is unexpected, you know, just like that. That siren that was going off, I was picking up like something unexpected was coming in. And we just saw fortune, unexpected income. So this is definitely like blessings, wish fulfillment. Because you have that abundance card. It's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled and satisfied, overjoyed. So let's tap in with our spirit of love and light. All right, I feel good with that. I don't want to drag the reading on too much. Okay, so we have a bonus message. I'm going to put this over here. That's your bonus one more time thank you spirit bottom of the deck and this is poverty so this bottom of the deck and look what we have here community so someone perhaps it's this person you're attracting because this is what's in overall energy that same 37 someone is really going through uh some sort of financial constraints maybe someone has you know, been realizing how codependent they could be in a partnership. I definitely feel like, you know, completing a karmic lesson is bringing someone out of this place of feeling, you know, impoverished or feeling like they don't have enough or, you know, they're struggling to make ends meet. Because with the seven of wands, I do feel like there is, you know, a sense of someone is getting back to themselves, you know, with this masculine and feminine uh, energy on that card. I do feel like that's speaking to balance, balancing things out. When you balance things out, then you you grow. You 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 grow personally. You become more um, in alignment with yourself. Uh, that's what the seven is here: personal growth. And so this eight eight abundance. Someone is going to have an abundance because they've grown spiritually. They've grown personally from a situation. They've changed their mindset. 
you know, maybe even being in codependent connections, having a very immature perspective. Remember, we had Notorious B.I.G. playing perspective. And we have this 39 here, community. So someone has received a lot of guidance from their angels, their guides, um, you know, to look at things from a different perspective, from a different scope, to work on themselves, to heal themselves. Because this 88 and the 7 is 14, that's 5. So that's healing their inner selves, that's growing, that's honing their skills, gifts, and talents, that's sitting at the feet of the elders and soaking up game, that's going to the, to the elders and their family, maternal or paternal, and asking probing questions or even asking for advice and receiving that advice. And and also, you know, finally saying like, okay, I have to change me. Um, this could also be a part of karma, you know, having to go through these experiences. But this five and this four is representative of that nine, which is the change. So they had to make the change. Remember, we opened up the reading with change. And I'm going to show you how I got the numbers. So remember, eight and eight is seven. Because that's 16, that's 7. 7 and 7, that's 14, that's 5. 5 and 3, that's 8. 8 and 1, that's 9. So this is showing you that there was some positive changes. This is that person that went into hermit mode. This is that person that assessed themselves and had a lot of discoveries about themselves. Um, we have right now Bob Marley, Babylon system. So their system, their way of thinking, I almost dropped my phone, their way of thinking... You know, maybe even smoking too much Marley, too much Bob Marley, you know, could have been, you know, something that impacted their thoughts. But what they did discover was they were lying to themselves. They were dealing with a lot of false people, a lot of people who created these narratives with uh, Babylon system that speaks to corruption. Um, and this is that person we are about to uh, clarify for this person. So with the uh, three of chalices and the timeout, this is what they discovered. Whomever they was dealing with, whomever they were in these circles and ciphers with, this thirty, this 24, which is 6, and this 1, what is that? 7. So this is like the 7 of swords. Someone's realizing they're dealing with a lot of shank, you know, janky, superficial, uh, fugazi, you know, individuals that were very, um, very much um, opportunists. Because uh, you can see the, the setup right here where, you know, this gentleman who seems to be well off. Uh, they're using this child to, you know, maybe they were dealing with somebody who was literally just using them for money or using them for material goods, gain, um, you know, just to get what they want. Uh, with this three of chalices, this is like the nostalgia mode, like, you know, reminiscing on, um, you know, a better and more deeper connection. Uh, maybe someone is also reflecting on, you know, how the sexual connection, you know, now has them kind of caught up in some sort of trap because you know this is something that they realize they also need to change with the six the three and this one that's ten so that could be that painful ending that this person had to um, endure in order to see something for what it truly is or in order to have a brand new start so let's tap in so why is this 37 time out three chalices here for this person that our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them in 2023 we have a message of love and light, Spirit. Why is this 37 time out? And this three of chalices here for the person of love Scorpios are attracting to them. All right. That took a little minute for that card to come out. And we have judication. So someone is going through some sort of breakup. Someone is going through some sort of legal um, matter. There's a contract. It could be a divorce Um perceiving they're going through but I feel like there's definitely like something's ending it's ending in the court system it's ending uh, and someone is walking away or using that as an opportunity to get away uh, yep look at that we got this uh it says distant horizon so they're breaking free from something that has had them anchored uh you know had them feeling very stuck very stagnant and we have uh, sweet sable and old time sake is playing so very nostalgic on the connection they have with you because I'm about to pull the energy of what they, uh, how they're feeling for you. And we have this 44 environment, 81 leadership, the 10 of pentacles, the stars. Um, we have the moon and then we have the seven of pentacles and then we have this 36. So someone definitely is like feeling almost very um, inspired, invigorated, um, 
and also very motivated to come toward you you know like I feel like there's this this energy of like you know nostalgia as I said kind of dreaming of you thinking of you um, maybe realizing they didn't put enough time and energy um, really show you how they felt but I feel like for old times sake they are going to come in and perhaps you know pay for all make up for all the time that was lost I'm getting a sense of because I keep hearing Beyonce Destiny's Child um, cater to you you know, I, I keep hearing that song um, whenever I speak of, you know, this person here uh, with the Nine of Pentacles. So we have the uh, thief here. Look at that. So with this thief, I feel like someone came in between this connection. Someone distracted your person from you. How they feel about you is they feel like they were robbed of this experience perhaps because they got caught up in this third party scenario here and they may have discovered someone else had another person on the side and while they were entangled with this person they could have lost you um, because we do see here where this person is just dreaming daydreaming you know maybe they had some sort of you know made up in their mind you had someone they had someone so they didn't think anything of it but they can't stop thinking of just you and them you know the time they spent with you why because you're a star in their eyes in each of these cards there's couples um you got two couples here so this could be like you know the shadow you know this is them what they're presenting to you and what they're really doing um which is dealing with two different people this is also you know two people here so this is that energy of like mirroring you know this person sees you as that divine counterpart every uh depiction of you they could see themselves with you they can envision themselves with you and this is what they feel they feel like got, they got robbed of the scenario because you may have moved away you may have left the situation entirely and took your power back because I was getting the eight of cups and we saw that when we first touched the cards so with this here they want a victory uh, they want a major breakthrough because I feel like they're now uh, trusting their intuition whereas in the past they could have put their trust in people you know they could have trusted a third party they could have trusted their homies their friends um, only to discover that these individuals were deceiving them um, you know, they could have been breadcrumbing you uh, along because, you know, maybe they didn't see your value. They didn't see your worth. They didn't see this connection going to that next level. But with this 25, oh, they see you now because you're having major breakthroughs. You're having major victories. And that's why I feel like they were inspired and motivated. You may have activated this person or triggered something within them to start working on themselves, to start growing because you've reached that level where you are now, you know, very much in tune, tapped in to the frequency, to vibration. You have a connection with your angels, your guides. You're also self-improved. Um, you've reached that level of self-mastery. And so now they're making the necessary modifications and moderations to themselves so that they can match your fly and your vibration. They want a victory. They want a major breakthrough with you. This is also speaking to potential marriage and, and um, courtship in your future so what's hidden why is the seven personal growth 14 moderation and this nine of pentacles here for what's hidden in the energy for our beautiful scorpios and what they're attracting in the seven universal year what did i just say you got the lovers here twin flame this is cosmic companions this is the yoke and there goes the 23 so everything is being handled fairly and justly i do feel like this person wants to speak a truth I feel like a truth will be revealed, but I also feel more importantly like someone has been growing. They have been learning. They've been learning. They've been maturing and they've been doing their due diligence. And because of that, there's wish fulfillment. You're receiving your just due because you have healed and you've grown. But I feel like this union in and of itself will be very successful. I was picking up on unexpected or something, you know, um, coming in unexpectedly because of the sirens. And it seems like, you know, this, this abundance, this prosperity, this is what's hidden. Is you're going to be offered not only financial blessings or you're know, going to be given some sort of uh, promotion, a raise, unexpected money, taxes. It could be something, you know, something you've been waiting for, maybe a settlement. But I also feel like there's love. This is you coming into union, coming into partnership, building an alliance, cultivating a relationship, uh, not just any relationship. This is someone that you will grow with. You know, this is someone that will grow with you. This is a spiritual partnership. 
and I feel you will know intuitively uh, who this person is as I'm speaking. I feel this person is trying to find a way to get to you. Um, we got a tribe called Quest. This is called Find a Way. So this person definitely is taking action because that one is a very action-oriented number. Um, and we got this Knave of... Um, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, the Sun, and the Two of Pentacles. So someone's trying to find their way out of a situation because I feel like they already see the light. They already see the truth. They already know what they need to do. They already know where their heart is. And I feel like, you know, whatever confusion or delusion, something's going to come to light. I feel like they're going to eventually um, cut themselves free some, from some sort of karmic yoke hex or spell. And this is why this new beginning is here because the yoke has been broken and I feel like it has a lot to do with, you know, this connection being spiritual, this connection being destined. This is a destiny type of love, destiny type of circumstance. When you get one message, may I have a message of love and light to clarify new beginnings, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Sun for my beautiful Scorpios, for the outcome, for what's coming to them. Okay, nothing fell out in the year 2023. Thank you, Spirit. May I have a message of love and light. For the outcome, why is this one new beginning? Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Someone's coming towards you. Remember, we heard the train, and I was saying there was distance. Someone's leaving another situation. I'm leaving on the next train. I don't know when I'll be back again. And it's leading to a victory. Definite victory success. This is an absolute beautiful, beautiful energy right here. This is someone coming towards you. This is absolutely like someone's making a decision. They're packing up. they out. And that's what I was picking up. Like someone has to leave this little entanglement with this little, you know, do something strange for a little bit of change type of energy and come towards the light, beloved. Come towards the light. And it looks like they're coming. You know, they're absolutely coming with that 10. I do feel like it's an ending, but it's a new beginning. Every ending denotes a new beginning. And this is leading to victories, breakthroughs. This could even lead to commitment, marriage, you know, the whole nine. Yep, main female. We got sudden wealth here. Look at that. Someone may pack up and move, relocate to where you are or vice versa. But this is beautiful energy. So beautiful Scorpios, I hope this message resonated for you. Um, I see nothing but beautiful things coming in this new seven universal year. Everything that I've mentioned has come out in the cards. Um, but I definitely feel there's spiritual growth. There's growth in your finances and even in your love department. There's just a lot of happiness here um, overall. The sun always makes everything a little brighter, makes your days a little lighter. And I feel like there's blessings upon blessings, especially with this un you know, expected income, you're being rewarded and you have abundance here, you know, so it's, it's an abundance of love, abundance of emotional fulfillment, abundance of financial fulfillment, but also just an abundance of you feeling fulfilled within yourself. And um, I just want to say good job. Y'all have been doing your thing, beloveds. I'm so proud to be able to read for you all, especially those of you whom I know has been going through it. You know, um, I'm just proud of y'all. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. And to Every single one of you who are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. If you are new here, hope this reading resonated with you. I hope my energy, my vibe, the way I read, the way I do things on my side of the planet definitely resonated with you. If it did, don't be shy. Hit the like button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload and subscribe, if you so will, so feel inclined to do so, beloved. But thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. If I do not speak to you before the uh you know so-called new year as you know the new year is in april but i don't want to bust nobody's bubble <laughs> april is the new year okay that's when everything's growing nothing can be new in the dead of winter but just to entertain uh you all if i don't get the chance to speak to y'all i'm sending you infinite love and life health and wellness thank you again for tuning and tapping in until next time peace